My name is Lisa, and I'm a working adult at a local company. I've recently decided to marry my boyfriend, Oscar. I had so much fun today. Yeah, time flew by so quickly, it was amazing. We did have a lot of fun together, didn't we? Let's definitely come here again sometime. Hey, Lisa, can I suggest something? What is it? Are you suggesting we stay overnight next time? That's a good idea too. But I was thinking, next time we come here, not as lovers, but as husband and wife? Eh, you mean? Lisa, will you marry me? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oscar. Thank you. Yes, I'd love to. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, hey, no need to cry. You, 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 sorry. I was just surprised and so happy. This is Oscar. I was so happy when he proposed that I couldn't help but cry. My parents, who hadn't shown much interest in me before, were also very pleased with our marriage. After some time, we went to visit Oscar's parents. So, Lisa has become my fiancé. I am getting married to Oscar. I may have my shortcomings, but I look forward to your kind support. So, the two of you are finally getting married. Congratulations, Oscar and Lisa. Ho ho ho, this is indeed a joyous occasion. Let's order some sushi to celebrate. Thank you both. About the wedding, we're thinking of having it once work settles down. Yes, that sounds good. You must be busy now. It's not a replacement, but we will cover the expenses as a gift. Please have a wedding that you're completely happy with. Mother-in-law, father-in-law, thank you so much. In fact, Oscar's father runs a company, and my marriage to Oscar is what you might call a match into wealth. His parents are very kind and told us to plan the wedding as we wish. We decided to have a destination wedding abroad and were progressing with the preparations when. There are so many places to choose from when you say abroad. Hawaii, Saipan, oh, what should we do, everywhere sounds amazing. Haha, <laughs> it seems like you're spoiled for choice. Hey, Oscar, where do you think is good? Do you have anything in particular you want to do? Hmm. I don't really have any preferences. Really? Yeah, so you should just do what you like and make the decision. Is that so? But it's our wedding. That's exactly why it's best for you to realize what you want most. That's what I want too. I see, in that case. Oscar seemed uninterested and didn't even offer any ideas, leaving me to think about everything on my own. I was very saddened because I wanted us to plan our once-in-a-lifetime wedding together. Then one day. Lisa, I'm sorry for pushing all the wedding preparation onto you. Eh, what's wrong all of a sudden? I thought I was doing you a favor by letting you make the decisions, but I realized that was terrible of me. It's our special wedding, after all. I'll think about it together with you. Oscar. Thank you, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I should have spoken up too, sorry. No, it's my fault, I'm really sorry, and, speaking of which, I like cars, so how about we do a drive through wedding? Would that be okay? Yes. Of course, let's definitely do that. Oscar apologized for his previous behavior and made a new proposal for the wedding. I was delighted, and we decided to go ahead with the drive through wedding that Oscar wanted. On the wedding day, I walked down the aisle in my dress, watched by everyone. But the moment I was about to join Oscar in the car. Oops, you're not the one getting in the car. Ow. What are you doing? Too bad, I'm not marrying someone like you. I'm getting married to Jacinda. That's right, Lisa, sorry. The one who gets to sit next to Oscar isn't you, it's me. What? Jacinda? What's going on? It means exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to be happy with your twin sister, Jacinda. That's why I'm saying I'm not marrying you. Well, even though we're twins, our faces don't look alike I'm cuter, so it can't be helped. So, I'm the one who gets to marry into wealth and ride in the car. How could this? You've been quite the help until today. Well then, we're off to enjoy our drive in this car. A convertible is awesome. We're going to have a blast. Wait, just a minute. Everyone in attendance was stunned by the sudden turn of events. As I stood there, confused, Oscar's parents rushed over. Lisa, are you okay? I'm so sorry about what Oscar did. We're truly sorry. Our foolish son. Oh, no. It's not your fault. 
Both of you, I'm terribly sorry for the outrageous thing Jacinda has done. Please, there's no need to apologize. We are also to blame. We're so sorry for hurting Lisa. We're truly ashamed. Bo, it doesn't matter what happens to Lisa, don't worry about it. Eh, Mom? What do you mean by that? What? Maybe she misspoke because she's upset. No, I'm calm. I really don't care about Lisa. Rather, I want you to take Jacinda as your daughter-in-law. What's important is that a daughter of mine marries into your family. It's regrettable how things turned out, but please, let the marriage proceed as planned. What are you saying? That's incredibly rude. After what happened, it's obvious the marriage is off. What are you saying? Are you planning to waste such a golden opportunity? How can you say such things? Ignoring Lisa's feelings. What kind of mother are you? I'm desperate because she's my daughter, and I want her to marry into a family like yours. Besides, look, Jacinda is prettier than Lisa. I'm sure she'll be a better match for Oscar, the future president. My mother showed no concern for me and began urging Oscar's parents to agree to the marriage with Jacinda. As they were expressing their indignation, Oscar and Jacinda returned. Ah, that was the best drive. I should have thrown in a drift or two. Well, anyway, this means we're officially husband and wife now. Hee <laughs> hee, it was the perfect wedding. Ah, uh, Lisa sorry for stealing your spot? But it was my idea from the start, so it's all good, right? From the start. So the sudden cooperation and proposal from Oscar were all because. Everything was because Jacinda wanted it this way. Exactly, it was quite the act, wasn't it? Well, I didn't really care about the details, to be honest. But I wanted to do something that would make Jacinda happy. You're unbelievable. What did you say? Noah, how dare you speak to your brother like that? Someone like you is no longer a brother to me. I can't stand having someone like you in the family. I'm cutting ties. Ha, huh, cutting ties? Come on, what are you talking about? Noah, I'm going to be the next president. If you cut ties, you won't be able to stay in the company. Like I care. I refuse to be in a company run by someone like you. You're so spirited. But that bravado is only for now, you know? When you're back to reality, you'll regret saying, what have I done? Starting from zero, abandoning your current status and honor, it's nothing but an ordeal. Ah, an ordeal. That's laughable. Living with someone as unreasonable and despicable as you as family is the real ordeal. Starting from zero is nothing compared to that. Such an unlovable brother. Fine, I don't care what happens to you anymore. Ah, uh, Oscar, you need not worry about that. The next president won't be you, but Noah. What? Noah, but that's not what we agreed upon. You fool. There were company people here today. And yet, you shamelessly behaved in such an outrageous manner. Are you not aware that you've showcased your lack of sense to everyone? Indeed, nobody would want someone who does something like that as a president. Tough luck, Oscar. Realizing he wouldn't become the president, a shocked Oscar was then confronted by Jacinda. Wait, what do you mean? Aren't you supposed to be the next president? No! I'm meant to be the next president. They must be joking. After all, I'm a once-in-a-generation genius. This is no joke. I'm not mad enough to appoint someone as unhinged as you to be president. I've arranged for you to work under an acquaintance of mine. This place should be suitable. What? That place is known for its terrible crime rates, where you're likely to encounter crime at every third step. I can't possibly work there. Do you not care what happens to your son? You should be thankful I'm still treating you like a son. You've caused enough trouble. Work there until you've paid off the settlement and the wedding expenses. Work there? Do you even know what their minimum wage is? It's a country where a month's salary in Japan is like an annual salary there. Who knows when I'll be targeted? I see, in that case, we'll pay your salary based on their standards. Don't joke with me. At that rate, I'll never be able to pay it off. Excuse me, father-in-law. I'd like to claim damages from Jacinda as well, but she's unemployed. So, if possible, could you have her work there too? Ah, uh, if she's unemployed, that's perfect. Sending her there won't cause anyone any trouble. Indeed. Lisa, that's perfectly fine. I'll make the arrangements right away. What? Wait, why do I have to be involved in this? I absolutely refuse to go there. I'm not going either. This is a terrible personnel decision. 
I'll use my current position, connections, anything to make sure this never happens. Facing strong opposition from Oscar and Jacinda about working abroad, Oscar's parents responded. Enough already. All of this is your own doing, isn't it? Acknowledge what you've done and accept the personnel decision quietly. After cheating and ruining the wedding, and even bringing us shame, you should be grateful that we're letting you off this easy. You know, your father's company might lose clients because of this mess. Accept your punishment and work in that remote country. And make sure to pay the compensation. What shame? I'm just choosing to be with the woman I consider the best. There's no shame in that. You pointing fingers and calling it shameful, that's the real shame. Like, what? Being sent to a country with bad security just for this seems ridiculous. It must be because you're all jealous that he's marrying a beauty like me, right? Ugh, there's nothing more unattractive than a man's jealousy. Impressively selfish and positive thinking. You've made your bed, now lie in it. I'll take care of the company, you two enjoy your personal hell. Well, if you manage to survive, that is. So, does that mean the next president is Noah, my son? Hey, Noah, why don't you marry Lisa then? What? What are you talking about? Stop it. If the wedding's off, I'll be in trouble. I spent money thinking I'd get some. I even made debts. Debts? Why would you think you'd get money in the first place? That's not true. As the mother in law in distress, I'm sure I'd get as much money as needed. So Noah, won't you marry Lisa? She might look plain, but she'll devote herself to you wholeheartedly. Ignoring Noah's visible discomfort, my mother aggressively began to push for my marriage for her own benefit. Frustrated, I responded. Stop it. How can you think of marriage in this situation? Well, then, we can sit down and talk about it tomorrow. It's not about that. Who would marry just for money? Why are all my relatives like this? Just like Jacinda, I'm cutting ties with you too, mom. Apologize for your rudeness right now. Cutting ties. Rudeness. What are you saying to your own mother? You should be ashamed, not angry. Isn't it embarrassing for you to hear such things from your daughter? She's outraged because she's not ashamed. Unbelievable. Father-in-law, mother-in-law. I'm so sorry for the trouble my family has caused. Lisa, you've done nothing wrong, so there's no need to apologize. Indeed, it's remarkable that you turned out so well, surrounded by them. Wait, what do you think of me? Mom, just be quiet. Oscar and Jacinda ruined the wedding. My mother only thinks about herself. I hate you all. Never contact me again. Indeed, we will ensure they never bother you again. Wait, then I'll have to live with debts. I can't do that. Lisa, reconsider. Don't abandon me. No. I don't want to help someone who sees their family only as a tool for making money. Treating yourself as a tool and using it wisely is all you have left. Noah, I'll leave the position of the next president to you, but please, spare me from that country. I'll support you as the former next president. So please. Then all the more reason to prove you can manage on your own in that country. The best support is proving you have no ties or influence over me. What's happening? I thought I'd become a corporate president's wife. Why did it turn out like this? I wonder why you thought we'd accept you as an affair partner. Well, your short-sighted and reckless nature might fit well with that country. Do your best there. Mostly in self-defense, I suppose. What? What do I do? Maybe I need to run away now. If you're running, take me with you. It's useless. Once Dad decides something, he follows through. We can't escape. Reflect on yourselves in those harsh conditions. Though, why has it come to this? We might never be able to return to Japan. Let's strive together to ensure that doesn't happen. Thus, with Oscar, Jacinda, and my mother dejectedly bowing their heads, the wedding was cancelled. I claimed damages and wedding expenses from Oscar and Jacinda, which my father-in-law graciously paid on their behalf. This act obligated Oscar and Jacinda to accept the overseas job, facing a whirlwind of theft and robbery upon arrival in the foreign country. Their situation only worsened as they became targets for local criminal groups, constantly losing money and unable to repay the debt to my father-in-law, resulting in more borrowing for daily survival. Meanwhile, my mother struggled with her debts, her financial situation deteriorating as she failed to make ends meet. The three of them lived in dread, imagining the hellish future that awaited them due to their escalating debts. As for me… So Lisa, how have you been since then? 
I'm well, living peaceful days now. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're finding peace, Lisa. So, Lisa, have you found someone yet? Dad, that's rude. No, I'm still single. Really, your father sometimes. What a rude question. It must be hard to even think about marriage for a while, right? Yes, I'm not quite in the mood for that yet. What about dating? Is it the same situation? Mom, it's not polite to ask that. It's okay, Noah. Talking about things can sometimes make them lighter. Even so. I'm sorry, my parents can be quite intrusive. No, it's nice to be asked and included. So, are you also not dating anyone at the moment? Mom. It sounds like after the tumultuous events, you've found a sort of solace in your interactions with Noah and your in-laws. Their interest in your personal life likely stems from a place of care and perhaps a desire to see you settled and happy, especially after the upheaval you've experienced. The frequent meals and conversations might be their way of showing support and keeping a protective, friendly eye on you. While it's natural to wonder if there might be underlying intentions, especially regarding Noah, enjoying the moment and the bond you're building with them seems like a lovely way to move forward. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.